Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plants vs. Zombies 3. Welcome to Zomburbia. Today, we are continuing with day four. We got a good chunk through it, but at this point, the quests are becoming more and more involved that I think we we'll probably need all the extra time we can get to complete it up today. So let's go ahead with that. We have level 55, which is a hard mode level coming up next. Luckily, last episode, we got the lightning read, which has been super duper useful. Hopefully, it can continue to be useful in this next level. So ready, set, plant. Let's go for, I'll put a sunflower down right there. We don't have any more lily pads in this one, so we need to make the most out of the ones we have here and really make sure that uh, we just make sure they don't get destroyed really, right? <laughs> so that'll be my main goal as we earn up some sunflowers and wait for these zombies to start popping up. We're on level 55, so we've been getting pretty far pretty fast, right? But there's just still so much more left to do. So I will grab some extra sun, another sunflower as soon as it's ready. It looks like we'll have a full row of sunflowers before the zombies even get too close to us. But that one lily pad already, I guess is at risk of getting gobbled up. Might as well put that there. But as you can see, other zombies are already making their way over too. So I think this is where we probably just wanna save up as much as I can for a lightning read. But oh man, is it taking its time or what? Okay, there we go. I'll just put the lightning read right there and we'll start zapping those zombies. So if I wanna get any more sunflowers out, it's gonna be probably not in the, in the lanes where I need the lighting reeds to be. So let's just do this. Got some more there. One more sun should do the trick. There it is, just like that. I'm a little bit worried about this one imp, but I think we'll be able to destroy him, please. There we go, that was sort of terrifying. All right, huge wave of zombies is already coming in. This stuff moves so quick now, it's crazy. I just think the general pacing of the game is so, so much faster. They ate through my plant. No, you're kidding me. I might want to reset this one. I think so, because I sort of made some mistakes here. Let's give up and reset this. I have a feeling, wait, no, come on. Give up, give up. Um, I feel like I could do that little opening bit a little bit better, so I, I feel like there's been quite a few episodes now where I started with, with uh, What's it called, losing a level? But this is a hard level, it's specifically marked as hard. I think we can just do a little bit better than that though. I don't need to worry about that first um, lily pad as much. I feel like, you know, if we lose those first two right here and here, it's it's not really that much of a big deal. It's more the ones farther back from that that I'm more so worried about, but we'll see in just a moment. I think that if instead of getting those, you know, trying to get that lily pad protected or just focus on getting more lightning reads out, we would have been fine. We'll see soon enough. Trying to utilize every moment, and it looks like where the zombies come in truly is random. So that is worth keeping in mind. I don't know if I should worry about that lily pad though. I feel like I'm gonna run into the same issue that I did before if I do. I just need to go ahead and get this out here. And if we really need to, we can get a walnut out in the first spot of land over that way. We'll see if we even need that at the moment, because I get a second lightning readout um, over here, just like that. I get a second piece of sun here in a moment too, maybe, so that I can get yeah more out like that. And we should be fine. This is feeling a lot more doable already, so just keep that going. One more should get us a lightning read right here. Excellent. And now this group of lightning reads should get a lot more work done for us. Mo is at the ready for any zombie that tries to give us a hard time. Uh oh, actually I'm gonna do this because I don't wanna risk that. Yeah, that would have definitely destroyed my uh, lightning read. So, sort of an evasive maneuver there for a moment, but we're back on it now. So that's good enough. And I think that uh, with all that concern, here come the pigeons, oh no. Lots of pigeons coming in. I will dig this up, put this here. So many more pigeons where that came from though. I think I'll put a wanna up this way and then replace this one with a lightning reed as soon as I can. It's probably my best bet. Got it, I'm just gonna put some sunflowers out. I need three more sun. There it is, there it is. Lightning reed right there. Oh, this one zombie's getting pretty close. Can we zap him away? Not before he claims a sunflower. Yikes. That's okay. We got plenty more over here. The pigeon's really trying to get through some stuff this time. There we go. Do something like that. Not so bad overall. And sooner or later, we're gonna get the uh, 
other stuff going on here. The um, the Grapes of Wrath. So I'm just trying to make that happen soon enough. But got another Lightning readout. These aren't the most advent advantageous bosses in the center here, but it's what I can make work. So it's what I'm doing. Got it, got it, got it. Here come those grapes. It's going pretty well. Grab some extra sun where I can. And I think I'll dig up that one sunflower. Oh man, that bucket head on the bottom is not a fun sight. I would have thought that I would have had some way to handle that by now, but I don't know. Okay, we're gonna have it eat the sunflower and then just put a walnut down there. So hopefully we can just save Mo for a bit longer. There's just so much going on. I'm definitely running out of sunflowers and stuff too. Now we got the Gargantua over here. This might be a time where we use a cherry bomb because there's just a lot going on. So maybe right about here. There we go. Not even gets rid of the Gargantua in one hit too. I was not expecting him to do that much. That's awesome. Uh, Bong Choi over here. I think is a good move. Still so much going on down this way. I think we're just gonna have Mo take out that bottom lane. And then down this way. Some sunflowers might do the trick. Other pigeons coming in, but I think that the lightning reed has them covered. Yep, okay. So my only concern is right over here with all of this. I think the lightning reed should zap them out, especially with the walnut. We'll find out. Okay, slow it down again, just so that I can make sure I'm pl placing those down. So I had to use one cherry bomb to get through the hard mode level, but I think that's fine. Long clear, we're out of there. Okay, so a bunch of coins. I'm definitely gonna double these up because that's already a ton of coins as it is. All right, 300 coins for that one. No mind if I do. Let's keep it moving. So, what else do we got going on around here? Looks like for now, we gotta of course stack up some more levels, but if we wanna keep things interesting, we do have a ticket we can spend over here. So this was to construct something. Oh, some fences to keep the zombies out. I think out of all these, I like this first one the best. Yeah, let's go with that right there. B Argle. That fence will keep in the, z the zombies out and the, z the good times in. Confirmation, the pool is now protected from zombie invaders. Relaxation may commence. Okay, so yeah, with that done, I think that we just wanna keep it moving. Right over here, we get a bunch of squashes and snow peas. Interesting, this is a little bit different. Let's get to planning. And of course, we don't really have any sunflowers, so keeping those guys protected will definitely be a big goal. But I just sort of wanna wait and see where exactly the zombies are gonna pop up before I start dedicating myself to putting some plants down. I think this might be one of those ones where it's gonna really take its time though. Okay, here we go. Imp's gonna show up right there. I just instantly wanna put that snow pea there to react to it. As soon as it happens in any other spot, I just wanna be ready for that too. That snow pea should knock out the imp pretty easily. There it goes. Cool, cool, cool. What else do you got though? And I guess I could just start putting some of them out. I feel like that's what it's expecting me to do right now. Okay, here come some more zombies. A little bit scarier now because they're all stacked up. With a snow pea, that's not as easy to deal with. So I could just, you know, clear them out super fast. It's like, boom, got it. Make sure we have a snow pea on every lane. And then just work on having squashes on all the others. That could be the move here. That's what I'm gonna work on for right now and see how it goes. Get that. And huge wave of zombies is approaching. Uh, hmm. okay, so I wanna make sure I have enough for one squash at all times, but for all the other moments, I should try to just make sure we can get double up on snow peas. That would be good. It's like this is looking like I might need a squash. Just looking at that whole group, but it didn't get the cone head there, even though it was close enough for the cone head to attack the squash. That feels a little silly. Okay, earning up more sun. Luckily, we have plenty more squashes if we do need that, but I don't think that's exactly what I should be worrying about too much. I just need more snow pea reinforcements wherever we can get them. One sunflower that's at risk of getting knocked out. I think it should be fine. I'm gonna be really bothered if it's not fine. Come on, they just—they don't do any damage. It's not so good, so that zombie 
Knocked it out. We almost have the Grapes of Wrath here. So if I could actually get rid of some of the larger clusters then, like that, and then I guess this one zombie, once again, I'm hoping that uh, it doesn't get eaten. It might get eaten. It does get eaten. It's just, I don't know what it is about the difference between this game and some of the other PvZ games, but it's just really weird how much it takes to defeat a zombie, but still somehow the levels go by really fast. It's just the pacing is definitely different compared to PvZ 1 and 2, and that takes some time to get used to. It's hard to gauge things, but we still made it through the level, so despite my complaining, we're fine. <laughs> there we go, get a lot of coins for it. 61 in total is pretty nice. And what do we got next? Okay, um, I already did the fence. Oh, I guess I can maybe select it to change it at any time. Gotcha, that's cool. I'm glad I had that option. Um, let's do level 57, where we'll have uh, bong choys, uh, bamboo shoots, pea shooters, sunflower, walnut, pretty good stuff there. Plants love puddles, ooh, and we'll act faster on them. That's useful. So this is a new mechanic, we got puddles. When it's raining, more puddles will appear over time. Try placing your favorite plants on puddles. Ready, set, plant. So I will just try to place whatever I can, wherever I can. That made actually another puddle. Yeah, so that's good to know. I will put this one right there. Maybe as it continues to rain, you have this more puddles are gonna pop up. This is really neat. Okay, focusing mostly on some flowers for now, but soon enough we'll get some other stuff out soon too. I definitely wanna do the bamboo shoot. Maybe I'll put that where there isn't any plants. Ooh, there we go. Got some good damage heading out now. Get one more sunflower up that way. But yeah, all the plants are just more productive because of these puddles. That's great. I'll get this up here to start dealing with that one imp. So I definitely want to just feed what we can here. I think, yeah, okay. I was gonna say, I really hope that that one pea shooter can defeat the imp, and luckily it did. I'll get this down here. And at this point, I'm pretty focused on just getting some uh, more bamboo shoots. I got that. And I guess I could get one more pea shooter here. Uh-oh, especially with this bottom lane. That actually got destroyed way faster than I thought it would. Um, that could be a problem. Oh man, the imp instantly destroying it. <laughs> Don't appreciate that. Don't appreciate that at all. I wanna get a bamboo shoot down there then soon. If possible, but at this rate I have no clue. Um, let's get a sunflower over there. This was going so well and then one imp ruins everything. <laughs> That's just how plants versus zombies work sometimes though. Okay, so I think that I really, really need to dig this up, get another sunflower back over there, maybe get a pea shooter. Get a walnut right there. It's gonna get boosted by the puddle, right? I don't know if walnuts get boosted by the puddle. It looks like they don't have that animation. So, so far, maybe that wasn't a good idea. Uh, get another pea shooter back this way then, because that one's gonna get gobbled up too. Oh man. Then I will just do that over there as well. And maybe I will have enough to put a walnut out on one of these, because this is the last of the zombies here. There we go, got rid of you. It's just these guys down here then. So let's deal with that. Oh, you know, and you too. How did I not see you? <laughs> there you go, awesome. So if I speed up past this, I think we'll be able to defeat the zombie before it's too late. There we go, awesome stuff. So that was a little bit of a weird level, but we figured out the puddles a little bit. And 54 coins, one taco ticket, over 7,000 coins in total. Looking good. So with that done, we have enough to unlock another thing, another reward, add sunshade. Okay, so out of all of these, I like the green one. Analysis, this sunshade will be effective in preventing internal systems from overheating. Fun fact, while durable, metal skin is uncomfortably hot when exposed to direct sunlight. I am sweating my bolts off. All right, well maybe you should get in the shade then. Let's do level 58 where we have bong choy, walnuts, that's all I need to see. If we have those two, I can make something happen. All right, plants like walnuts don't have abilities to speed up, so they aren't affected by puddles. Oh, remove walnuts from the puddle to make room for a plant with an ability. Will do, so that's what I tried before, yeah, it didn't really quite work. So this is where, place a pea shooter on the puddle so it uses its abilities faster. Ready, set, plant. Let's go for it. 
So some flowers will produce sun faster, pea shooters will shoot peas faster. Things are going to be a lot better on the puddle. So that's why I wanna focus on for now. Got it. Let's do another sunflower right down there. And hope that if there's any zombies that do pop up, they pop up where we already have a pea shooter, but it'll benefit us eventually no matter what. There we go. I hear some zombies, but I don't see any zombies. Don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing at this point. Okay, an imp way up there, so if I get a pea shooter out really early, that should definitely make a good advantage against it. I think we'll be able to knock that out without having to worry about it. Another pea, or not another, another imp shows up right behind that too, so it's gonna work on getting more of this out. Maybe also work on getting walnuts out wherever I can. That seems pretty good. And got that. Let's see. I guess I'll just probably work on bonk choice now, right? I feel like that's a good idea. Bonk choice there. Maybe the walnut was a little too far out over in that direction. Or maybe I should have put the bonk choice even farther out, but it was sort of a tough way to decide. Okay, I'll put that there though for now. That should be good enough. This bong choy is punching extra fast, so it's definitely appreciated. Looks like I'll probably need some help right there. And then, at this rate, I mean, we're making a lot of sun. I almost have all the bong choys I need. I don't think the squashes would be improved by the puddle at all either, just because they don't have an ability that's really being made to go faster. It doesn't seem like it. They didn't have the, the, fe the effect on them. Okay, so. Few more pieces of sun here. There we go. Got all the bong choy we need. So I think at this rate it's just about walnuts, maybe replacing some of the sunflowers with more pea shooters, that kind of thing. Definitely like down here. But as it currently stands, I think we're gonna be able to handle it just because the bong choys are so powerful. So we'll take that one up, put it there. That's pretty good. So just three more pea shooters to go. Um, yeah, I think that we can even speed this one up a little bit, just because I sort of get the idea. And there goes the, uh, the Grapes of Wrath. We're good, awesome. So, with that figured out, lawn clear. We get ourselves a bunch more coins, 53 in total. So lunchtime, you got an event reward. Whoa, lots of rewards there. So. That is some good stuff, 7,400 coins. And we're still going. So we have another level coming up here. Level 59 is going to have more of the same when it comes to these plants, just adding on a bamboo shoot. All right, so for this round, nothing too fancy. It's raining, we got water all over the place, but we got some lily pads. We can't replace the lily pads as per usual, so that does make things a little bit more complicated. So let's just try to keep up with everything. I did not mean to put the sunflower there, but two rows of sunflowers probably wouldn't be so bad of an idea. Let's go ahead and just continue with that then. Right there, level 59. So we got pretty far in the game already for five episodes. I do say so myself, but there's still a lot more to get through. Okay, so we got our first zombie popping up over here. I think for this one, honestly, maybe we should just go bok choy straight away. Maybe that wouldn't be so bad of an idea. Problem is, without lily pads, it gets a little complicated on how exactly I want to set them up. But I'll do something like that because it's two zombies on the same lane here and then more popping up. If I could just let that bok choy deal with all of them fairly easily, I think we'll be fine. Okay, now there's another zombie showing up down that way, but by the time it does, at this rate, I think we'll be able to get another bong choy over there. Yep, just like that, awesome. Wish we sort of had snow piece to team up with this bong choy. I thought that'd be even more efficient, but for right now, I can at least protect this one. Huge wave of zombies is already approaching. A little scary, but I think we got it. Let's go ahead and yep, grab all of that. Bunk choy on the top. I do definitely need one for the cone head down below. But this is looking actually a little bit scary. Just once again, I don't have any protection for the bunk choice. That's the issue. So if I could just get that there, I 
think that's a good idea. I'm gonna get a walnut here. I think to buy some time, that might actually work out a little bit better. Um, one last sunflower here. Obviously, we'll have to replace some sunflowers later, but this is just the income we need at the moment to make all this work, so. I think that right there, plenty more sun coming in, which will be used for more bamboo shoots, just like that. But with the walnuts, I guess I can still reach them when they're like this, maybe? Ah, uh, not really. They'd still need to climb up on there. It's only for the one that I put the walnut on top of. Bamboo shoot there. And once we get all of the bok choy and bamboo shoots, I want to do pea shooters behind all the bamboo shoots. Replace the sunflowers with them and stuff. I think that's a pretty good idea. So let's get all of this. There we go. I don't know why that didn't work for a moment. Uh, slow you down for a little bit too. And then just one more there. Okay, so that's a pretty decent setup. We got the grapes of wrath here helping us catch up a little bit too, which is fantastic because those zombies are not kind. I got that set up. And as soon as the pea shooter's ready again, I can do that. Oh, grab that sun before it disappears. And I guess I just want to yep, get that there. Oh no, we got a gargantuar popping up for this level. That is not good. I think I honestly might just want to do another bamboo shoot for them. Okay. I don't know if I really want to do a walnut or anything over there. I feel like it's just gonna be sun sort of wasted for a bit. Okay, he's marching over. This is where I can start punching you from behind too, so that might buy me some time. Now we can really just start going crazy on you with this, and then as soon as it happens, I can just put a sunflower right down there. Okay, cool, nice, we immediately destroy the imp. And then if I could just put down another sunflower, oh, I couldn't quite. Oh, we still get you two bong choys. Hammer it down, it makes a big difference. That's the law and clear. And with it, you can see a bunch of coins coming in, 58 in total. Nice. The game is having some weird audio issues. I might try restarting the game. But that was one level done. We need two more tickets, or no, just one more ticket to get to this next upgrade. So level 60 is going to have Sunflower, Pea Shooter, Snow Pea, and Lily Pad. Glad to see the Lily Pad back because it just gives us so much more control over what's going on with each area. So instantly gonna get a Sunflower and Lily Pad down just so that we can actually uh, do what we need to do here. Lots more puddles coming down. I do like the puddle mechanic so far. It's making a lot of these more difficult levels feel a lot more survivable, and that's great. More productive Sunflowers is always a good thing. There we go, we're gonna grab this. Got it. Pretty good. I think at this rate we just wanna get one more here and then we can start focusing on maybe getting some plants out. Yep, perfect time because here comes a, a little imp. I guess I'll probably, right about here, put out a snow pea. I don't know if we can get puddles on lily pads. It'd be great if we could, but I don't know if we can. So that probably means that the center lane right here is gonna be the weakest because there just won't be any puddles there. But I guess focusing on snow peas for now is probably the best thing because it'll just slow everything down a bit more. I don't know why I put a snow pea where I put it because there's no zombies there yet, but uh, we'll do that and then this and then this. Cool. But we're already getting a decent arsenal of uh, different plants out here to fight these zombies, which is always nice to see. There we go. So, I'll get one more lily pad right there. Get that there. Got it. So I think like this. We can work on pea shooters now, because I don't know if it's that their fire rate's better. It has to be that their attack is better some way, somehow, than the snow peas. Seeing how the snow peas have the benefit to slow them down. Because why would the game give us both at that right, you know? At the same time, it would sometimes give us a lot of plans for the lightning reeds levels when the obvious answer was just to put down more lightning reeds. So, who knows, really. Okay, I definitely need a pea shooter down here, and luckily the puddle will help boost things along a bit better too. I think at this point we just put out an overwhelming amount of pea shooters and see where that gets us. Go. Let me put that there. 
I'm a little bit concerned by this one, but once again, there's not really too much more for me to do, just more pea shooters. I hope that everything survives the way it's supposed to. Pea shooter there. Um, another one up here while I'm waiting for the lily pad down that way. Awesome. And then back there, more sun. Our army of pea shooters really working out pretty well for us. And we also got the, uh, the Grapes of Wrath. Looks like we're about through this. I guess a pea shooter here, and if I could do anything, I guess it'd be replacing the sunflowers in the back with more pea shooters. So I'm just gonna start digging those up right away. Just because I want to make the most out of the time, especially with a big mean gargantua stomping his way over in this direction. That sounds like a nightmare waiting to happen. So I just want to fight it off as much as possible. I'll use lily pads over that way. And then one more pea shooter right down that way. Another lily pad really slowed this guy down. There we go. So it's now just full focus on the gargantua. Just really try to buy time like that. He's pretty slow at the moment. That imp should get, yeah, instant destroyed. And we sort of have him locked, where because he's so slow from the snow pee, we just put a lily pad down, and by the time he squishes it, another lily pad was available. So that's an excellent strategy right there. Really cool stuff. Now, as you can see, we get a lot of coins. A whole bunch of coins, 71 coins in total. And with that, we should have enough for everything else we wanted, which is good. So, yeah, right over here, we have place poolside furniture for three tickets. I have either this one with some nachos on the side, uh, these cool little banana looking chairs. I feel like I've got like a green aesthetic going on. I think I'll keep with this more floral pattern. All right, awesome. So, uh, the pool furniture is ready for pool party people. Ooh, I can't wait to invite all my friends. Huh, I wonder what happened to all my friends. I hope they're putting their hide and seek skills to good use. Me too. Whoa, what was that? Uncle Dave, did you hear that strange rumbling? <laughs> huh? Oh, it's me. If my dummy doesn't get a snack soon, I might go crazy. Ah. Uncle Dave, I have the perfect idea for a snack, situ or st snack station, but we'll need to generate some electricity to power it. <laughs> Say no more, Patrice. I'll construct a pond hydro power pumper thingy. Okay, so we have to make a hydro generator. That is gonna require two tickets, so let's get to that. Okay, so this one, I'm missing the lightning read, but we get snow pee, we get a bunch of bottles, wow. Okay, well then let's get to it. Everything is gonna get boosted this time, which means we'll have sun, tons of sun production, but I'm guessing that means with it, maybe a ton of zombies to deal with. So we'll have to wait and see. So yeah, go ahead and put that down. I'm just fully focused on sunflowers for the time being, but I might wanna preemptively put out some squashes soon just to protect us um, if things get a little bit crazy, but it's just one end. I think I can handle just putting out a snow pea for that, or I could do a bamboo shoot if I really wanna go crazy with it, but I think for right now, more sustainable to do the snow pea. I save that one sun, which can just go towards more sunflowers. You get the idea. But unfortunately over there, it looks like I already have another imp I gotta deal with. One more sun would do the trick, there it is, got it. I might wanna work on a second row of sunflowers. Maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> There's more zombies coming. Okay, one more sun, right there. I can use the squash if necessary, but I definitely just need more snow peas. Ooh. I'm definitely glad I didn't do the bamboo shoot because I would have been much more out of luck when it comes to how much sun we have at the moment. It looks like I might just want to use a squash here, just to be safe. I didn't need to. <laughs> I really didn't need to. Snow pea there. One more sun, come on. Come on, one more sun. You got it. All right. We can afford some more here soon. As soon as it reloads, but we can also put some towards bamboo shoots if I wanted to, which I think I will do right about here because there's three cone heads. Right there. Got it, got it, got it. Got it. Yeah. 
And that seems pretty good. Almost a full lane or full row of bamboo shoots now too. It's pretty nice. And the Grapes of Wrath to help us catch up even faster. Puddles are working out quite well for us as this last set of zombies comes in. I think we'll be okay. And we still have a squash or two here that we can use. I might just preemptively put one out just to make sure that we're ready. And then I can put another bamboo shooter there because we have so much sun, why not? Yeah, I think we're fine. Just a little bit more here and there. And that was a super easy level to get through. So, level 61, long clear. A bunch more coins, 55 in total. And we're back out here. So let's just hop right into level 62, which is gonna be a hard level, but we got lightning reed, so maybe it won't be as hard as we think. We'll have to wait and see. I'll get a sunflower, maybe a little bit farther out this time. I don't know if that's gonna be the best idea. We'll see. Um, but I'll do that and just try to get as many sunflowers out as possible. Just like that. There's puddles puddling up where I can't place any plants on that little turf area. I wonder if maybe that'll make the grass regrow. That'd be cool. So far the puddles just aren't popping up in convenient spots. I don't know if that's maybe just, you know, random chance in some ways. Maybe I'll just squash you. I think that might be a good idea. Just so I can focus a little bit more on not the super expensive plants. Let's get another sunflower out. Now I definitely need a lightning reed for that one. So let's get five sun. Come on, that's up to three now. One more. Well, it's gonna give it to me, it's gonna be you. There we go. And of course, we're on the puddle there, so that'll make a big difference. Grab some more of that, one more sunflower should do the trick, cause out is a lot of zombies over there. So, another lightning reed would be amazing. And that's exactly what we get, we want it right there. Four walnut has been chewed up a little bit, but we can always just get another walnut there. Not too big of a deal, actually. Awesome. So huge wave of zombies are coming. I wanna make sure that we get one more sun for the lightning reed down here, because that's necessary at this point. And then I might just wanna squish the pigeon zombie. It didn't squish the pigeon zombie. Are you serious? <laughs> what was that? All right, well, not what I was after. So many zombies coming in from every angle here. I think I will do that just to replenish that one walnut that did get knocked out. I think we need another lightning reed on that side more than the bottom side. Yeah, I think we're doing a whole lot better here. But there's still room to do even more. I just wish the puddles would spread in a spot where I actually need them instead of places where I can't even place plants. Okay, got it. Here comes that gargantuar. Oh boy. Can't squish the, the squash, sorry buddy. He tried though. Gave it a couple of swings actually. This is where things are getting really hectic though. There's not really too much more I want to do here besides just trying to protect the lightning rings. So, maybe if I could just do that, do this. This is still really stressful and it might not work out for us, but we almost had the Grapes of Wrath again. So, get us some flower there if we need it. Get this right here, here comes those Grapes of Wrath, which is really good. I need to deal with the Gargantuar and some of the zombies in the bottom. Come on, nice! Another squash able to do the trick. And we're fine, we get through this level one way or another, we get level 62 done, long clear. Awesome, so even though that was a hard difficulty level, we're fine, we get 131 coins, that's a ton. And we can also continue through day four, where we can build a hydro generator. Whoa. Full power pumping is pumping. I even found some screws for the fog vac. Now, tell me more about your scrummy snack station. Why don't Mo and I build the snack station for you, Uncle Dave? It'll be a nice surprise, I promise. Okay, so for that, that's gonna require three more tickets. Let's go for it. Okay, so for this one, bonk choice, pea shooters, pretty fun combo, we can do something with this. I feel like this game, definitely out of the three, introduces plants at the slowest rate of anything. It's just, you only get a plant every now and then. 
but at least there's a lot of levels with these plants we can sort of explore, you know? So we'll have to wait and see how this ends up going, but for now, I definitely want the sunflowers on the puddles. And then, boom, boom, got it. First zombie's already popping up with that one. I figure we should probably just save her for a bonk choy, right? If so, I have a little bit more space, a little bit more time. I just need to make sure it gets over to the puddle. Okay, bonk choy, there. That should be good enough. Punch away at that. Looking good. So, should I work on a second row of Sunflower here. It's a little risky, but I think we can do it. Because if I can just get two more sun, just like that, Bong Choi pops up and just destroys the zombie, no problem. I hope a couple of chomps in. Oh, that was almost it. I think if that third chomp had gone in, it would have been a devoured Bong Choi, and I would have been sobbing. It would have been awful. But luckily, that didn't happen. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. I'm going to pick up whatever sun we can then. Put that there. Okay. Got that sun. Nice, nice, nice. And I guess I'll start getting some pea shooters to sort of back up these bong choy just in case the worst happens. But so far we're handling it pretty well. Uh, this one over here, okay, never mind. I was gonna say it might be bad. I didn't really put the bong choy where I meant to, but we can figure that out later. I'm gonna get a squash to squish this imp. I want that out of here. And then just with one more sun, get another bong choy, and we're sitting at a pretty good spot then. Now we can work on a little bit more of our pea shooter power. And that should make a good difference. I see a lot stacking up down that way, so let's definitely deal with that. As the grapes, they pop in, they're angry. Maybe not the, you know, the most craziest time for Grapes of Wrath, but it's always welcome, because they leave the grapes there. They still explode and damage zombies down a little bit. So I'll get another Bong Choy there, and I still have enough for the Pew Shooter too. Plenty of leftover stuff there, it's great. So at this point, I think I'm like in a good spot to maybe speed things up a little bit. Get some Pew Shooters out wherever we can. Just like that, right there. I just wanna make sure when I put them down, it's like a safe spot to do so. There we go. Because we don't have walnuts or anything, so this is really my best layer of protection for the bunk toys, is just pea shooters. Final wave is approaching. Lots of zombies out here. Got it. And then if anything, I have so much sun here, I should probably be, uh, there we go. Slowing things down for a moment so that I can deal with this because this is actually crazy. There we go, there we go. And then if I can put the bong choy behind you. Yeah, there we go. So the same thing over here. A bong choy over here might also be good. The Grapes of Wrath helping out is a huge, huge help. That's awesome, there's one Gargantuar down. Let's work on the other one now. Get a couple more punches out, and just one more punch was enough to knock your head off. That's crazy. Awesome, one clear. Pretty fast level there, 61 coins. All right, so we still need to do how many more levels? That was just one, right? So we still need to do two more. And we have a hard mode level coming up. These are becoming a lot more common, which I'm not so thrilled about, but ready, set, plant. We know the deal. Let's go ahead and get some sunflowers out sooner rather than later. Cause this one I can definitely do like a solid bonk choy walnut combo. Get that right there. And earn up some more sun soon, come on. Got it, got it. Nice. So, here comes that imp. I guess I'll just, yeah, put that there. I'm a little bit worried we won't get the bong choy in time. It's all coming up on the same lane though, so if I could just get one more sun. Come on, come on. Got it. I guess the only downside with this whole concept is that I don't really get any of the benefit <laughs> of the plants being in the puddle. So if I were to reset this, it'd probably be something I focus on, is fixing that situation. 
So I'm not really getting that benefit here. And this is supposed to be a hard level, so I'm probably making a decision that's gonna haunt me here soon enough. So we'll see. Maybe I'm wrong, maybe I'm right. Get that there. One more sun should do the trick, and we got the Bonk Choi on that lane. Huge wave of zombies are approaching. We need more sun immediately. So I might at least move some of these monk choice a little bit farther up. If I could do this and that, that'll at least help me protect a little bit more. I need it eventually, after all. Okay, getting a little bit nervous here. We're still pretty far ways off of Grapes of Wrath, so I need this monk choice uh, at least with one with multiple imps, right here. There we go. Ooh, it might not be enough. Put another one up right there. Okay, perfect. That Bong Choi is punching up that way. Come on, more sun, more sun. I just need a little bit more. There we go, there we go. Put it right there. Punch away that imp. Shouldn't be too big of a deal. Huge wave of zombies is approaching again. I'm gonna get that there. I only have one sun now though. It's a little stressful to say the least. I definitely did this the hard way. My pre-planning of everything wasn't the best, but I feel like my follow-up to the situation I put myself in hasn't been so bad. I think we can, we, we could have been doing a lot worse considering the mistakes I made. So I think another one over here is a sufficient idea. Another one up there too. And it feels like sometimes there's points like this where it feels like I'm on double speed, but no, this is the normal speed of the game. It's crazy. And then dig this one up so I can put a bong choy on that puddle. But uh oh, over here, I've made a regrettable mistake of uh, here, get that there. I didn't notice that those zombies were coming in. I need one more sun, right? Right there, come on. Start punching away these zombies. That's what I really, really need. Get that there too. Oh man, this is crazy. But I think we got it. And the Gargantuars coming in over here. I've not had the opportunity to do too much for Gargantuars. Oh no. I think we'll be okay though if I can put that there. We'll see. Oh man. Um, Sunflower over this way. Please. A walnut here. A pea shooter there, just buy some time. That's what I'm after. Okay, seems like a decent idea, but is it enough? Not if that bong choy gets knocked out. But now I can go behind him and start punching with that. That's at least something. This is where it might be a disaster though. Um, because if I could just hold this gargantuan for a little bit longer, I mean, worst case scenario here, Mo saves the day, I guess. But uh, I still don't want that if I, if I can prevent it. Here, go ahead, keep punching. I think this Gargantua is almost out for the count. If we can find a way to knock him out here, that'd be great, but I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Buy some time, but yeah, I think that Mo's just gonna have to knock you out. That's fine. I don't know if I get the coins for the enemies that Mo knocks out. We're gonna find out. Right there. Cool. Actually, I don't get, okay, I was gonna say, I forgot the order of the coins. 137 coins, I think we did fine then. Awesome. So, it looks like we still have one more level to get through. Oh, whoa, we get the cabbage pole now. Cabbage pole, lobs, cabbages, hitting, flying, and non-flying zombies. Crisp. So some flowers, walnuts, and cabbage pulls. Awesome, cabbage pole attacks with lob shots that can hit flying zombies. So like the pigeons. Okay, so before the pigeons can even get down to the ground, that's where the cabbage bolts can do their thing. So good to know. Right now, we're just gonna let those cabbage bolts beat up those zombies and those zombie pigeons while we earn up some more sunflowers and hope that that is enough. They are a cost of four, just like the sunflowers are. It looks like they're doing a pretty good job. They have like a little springy sound effect when they la launch the cabbage bolt, which is interesting. But cool to see yet another, you know, classic plant here make its return in PvZ3. While we don't get plants very often so far in this game, it does make the ones we do run into feel pretty special. Okay, let's get that there. Here come the zombies. Yeah, this part's a little bit scary, because I think it's only hitting 
one out of time. So something like a doubled up imp situation like this is still pretty stressful. Come on, come on. Um, I guess I get this here. I sort of need enough for another walnut right there. Okay, the walnut came just in time, but problem now is that I don't have enough for this one. Okay, I sort of do. Unfortunate though, um, that I couldn't do too much more with that. Yeah, I feel like the cabbage pullets, they're great, but it's just not on their own. I'm gonna put this right here because we have an imp and a brown coat coming in. The pigeons are about to be showing up here, and that's gonna be a lot. Three cone heads up there, I think we need a walnut there too. Oh man. I sort of wish they were three sun and not four. I feel like four sun for the cabbage bullets. It's sort of pushing it at times. I don't know though. Keep it going. I'll put this up here. The grapes of wrath are almost here. If I can just do that, walnut there protect my plants for a little bit longer. Things are not looking so good on this bottom section, and there's not too much more I can do about it unless I want to use a power-up. This one's a little weird, because it's just I feel like I did as much as I possibly could. Here we go, the grapes are coming in. Please just be the difference maker I needed. It sort of is. Awesome, that was actually really good. Okay, so as long as we can get rid of that one. There we go. Okay, we somehow did it. The Grapes of Wrath was a huge save. That level would not have been doable without that. Okay, it's so very cool, more coins. And, let's see what else is going on. It looks like for now, we have Add Snack Station. So, some snacks for Crazy Dave instead of a fun slide. I, I'm sad to see the slide go, but whoa, it's like a giant honey lake or something. I think it's a fountain. Is that a nubba nacho cheese fountain? It's not honey, it's cheese. <laughs> okay, I love it. Almost as much as I love you, Patrice. Aw. Aw, that's so sweet, Uncle Dave. I love you too, but I can't take all the credit though. Mo helped a lot. Clarification, I merely acquired copious amounts of cheese. It is you who are deserving of gratitude, niece Patrice. This aquatic adjacent celebration has installed a newfound appreciation for non-compulsory activity in me. If I didn't know better, I'd say our little robot friend is having a good time. This party has everything. Amazing friends, scrummy nacho cheese to chug, blubbertastic pool toys, Weird footprints leading into the bushes. Weird footprints? Sorry, Uncle Dave. Looks like we'll have to put the cheese chugging on hold. Let's investigate. All right, so let's see what we can do. It looks like we, we just have one more segment to get through, but to do that, I'll need to complete two more levels. So for this one, we have more action with the cabbage bolt. And we have some other stuff too, so that's good. Um, first things first is putting some sunflowers down. It's level 66 with three flags of zombies to survive. Might not be easy. But cabbage bolts are still our main source of damage here, which means we wanna be careful exactly how we use the squashes. I feel like if we use those too much, we're going to use them right before we end up actually needing them, if that makes sense. So, first imp is popping up. The problem is just the cabbage bolts are expensive. So maybe a squash to start this first one off. I know what I just said, but it might not be that bad of an idea just to buy some time. First zombie imp is never fun, because they just move so fast. I need two more, one more, one more, please. Thank you, cabbage pole, but it already might be too late before this imp can eat a sunflower. Like, that's how fast they move, it's crazy. Oh my gosh, especially with this many imps, are you kidding? That was just so much so soon. It is sort of weird, the progression of plants that we get sometimes. It's like sometimes it's like we get lightning green and that just destroys everything everywhere. And then we get cabbage bowl, which is not a bad plant. I don't dislike it, but it's clearly not the same level of excitement as what we were running into before. Let's get another sunflower out there too. And I just don't feel like it has the firepower to deal with these kind of zombies, you know? It's a little weird. Oh, this is what it's giving us. Okay, wait, Um, let me do this. Let's get a walnut here. I need some more cabbage bolts on those other lanes. It's crazy how almost two rows of sunflowers just doesn't seem to be enough sun. Okay, and now we have pigeons too. Didn't even see you over there. Let's try to work on that a little bit. Okay, how do I wanna handle this one then? I guess another cabbage bolt right there would be great. Ah, uh, but they're eating through my sunflowers too. I need those. Those are a crucial element of the video game. Here, walnut there. 
because just one row of cabbage bullets sort of took up everything I got here. And a huge wave of zombies is still coming in. If we could just last until maybe the Grapes of Wrath can save me a little bit here, that'd be fantastic. The lighting read was a little bit better taking care of this stuff, I gotta be honest. Um, I could use maybe like a cherry bomb here, but I just don't feel like that's right. There had to be something I did wrong here, because this doesn't feel right. Um, I'll do this here, but all of our plants are gone. Our plants are just gone. <laughs> I don't think there's much I can do here. I'm not gonna keep going from now on. We'll just retry it. Weird, very odd level. See, this feels marginally more doable because I actually started with a normal zombie, not an imp this time. So it does feel like there are some elements of this game that might just be sort of up to the woes of luckiness. So I think a cabbage pole should be able to deal with a zombie from that distance. We're gonna find out here in a moment, but here comes an imp. So maybe one up there, try to save up for a squash on the bottom lane and then Gets messy fast, but luckily the other imp showed up right where there's already a cabbage pole. The only downside to what I did is that now I don't have a squash for this huge cluster of zombies that's building up on the top lane. But for right now, we can at least get started with the cabbage pole. I wish the cabbage pole had the property of like hitting multiple zombies at once, because if not, it just doesn't feel doable. Okay, get that there. So I'm trying to earn up sunflowers, but the act of spending sun on sunflowers is almost destroying me. I think we might cave here and do a little bit of this, ready? Especially with two, yeah, two pigeon zombies there on the same spot, like that's crazy to me. That's like so much. There's gonna be so many pigeons that my plants won't even have the time to actually focus on the zombies on the ground. It feels like a lose-lose situation. So I really gotta make sure I try to win this level now that I've spent one of those power-ups because those are you know very valu valuable. We don't come by them very often. We've done 66 levels, we only have four cherry bombs left over, you know? So it's not every level that we can use something like that. Just look at all these pigeons, it's crazy. And I know the goal is probably just to get rid of the pigeon zombie, but it's, it's hard to do that <laughs> when I can only have one squash at a time. Oh man, it's a mess. It's a proper mess. I mean, I almost have Oh boy, I almost have the squash here. I almost have the the Grapes of Wrath, but it just doesn't feel like it's enough. I don't know how to feel about this level at all. We lost again. Jeez, I don't know. This is one of those levels where I'm like, I don't know how to feel about this game. <laughs> it's a little weird. Okay, this time I'm changing it up again by using the Rake Trap. That will buy me some extra time for sure. I just need whatever, any single second I can get extra to do this. I like the cabbage pulled as a plant, but so far not a very positive impression on it here in PVZ3. I feel like once again, in theory, I see what we're supposed to be doing here, but it just doesn't feel very doable with just the cabbage bullet. Okay, so that one imp gone, that's pretty nice, but another imp is gonna be taking his place pretty soon, I'm sure. So. Even if I could just get a little bit more than one row of sunflowers here, I'd be really happy. There we go, awesome. So we're moving a little bit more. It seems like it's giving slightly less zombies, but you see where the issue is here is that it just spits out three zombies at once, at one time. Crazy stuff. There's a cabbage pole. If I can get two more sun, I could get another sunflower, but the problem is another imp and another brown coat zombie have shown up in that time. So, that means if I try to put my sun towards getting more sun, I run out of sun. <laughs> and I won't be able to produce enough to actually defend my base. And that's where this game is just really, really weird. Because I even now, I didn't mean to put that there, but that's okay. Um, even now, I just feel like this is a little undoable. Okay, get that there, Let's get some extra sun in, like that. And, Cabbage pole there. It might be worth it. I don't want to like default to using power ups so much, but this level is so insane. I've cut out a couple of my attempts of it now, and it just, it's so difficult. Okay, squashy right away. I want to get rid of these pigeon zombies as soon as I can. So another cabbage pole right here. Um, right there. Got it. Here they come. 
It always makes these scary, uncertain noises when more zombies are coming too. Okay, another walnut right there. I think that'll do a good amount of work for us. I don't have much going on in that top lane. We still have Mo. Somehow, someway, we defy the Oz and still have Mo here before or after the second flag. And now we got the Graves of Wrath. So this is definitely my best one yet, but obviously I had to use a Jalapeno and a Rake to get this far. It's crazy. Do a little bit of that, and I don't mean to complain the whole time. It's just, I'm a little just off put with the difficulty jump with this one. Especially the kind of difficulty. If it was just one of those things where it's like strategically difficult, I, I, I feel like I get it, but this one, this doesn't feel like that's the case. Okay, so the last flag is about to pop up. I don't know if it'll be worth it to squash these two, but also, I'm a little bit worried if I don't because it's a bucket head and a brown coat. Okay, now it's just a bucket head. This may be a little bit more survivable. I'll do this and get a thing there. I think I wanna dig this up, because once again, it's double bucket head. And then you, I don't want any pigeons right now. No pigeon zone on this lawn. That is for sure. I'll do that here. Maybe I'll speed this up, up a little bit. And this wasn't even like a hard mode level, was it? I think this is a normal level, which is crazy, because it's clearly maybe the hardest level we've run into so far. Okay, I think that's enough though, that if I dig this up, there we go, there we go. Do that again. Nope, I don't even need to, awesome. There we go, lawn clear and we get a bunch of graves, 66 coins and one taco ticket. That should be enough for us to make one last upgrade here to the pool area and be done with this zone. So, right over here, investigate the footprints. Oh wait, no, I still need one more, Never mind. <laughs> okay, so, cabbage pole and snow pea. The end Snowfy here is what makes it so much better because we have some variety, we can alter the strategy a little bit, but we don't have any extra sun. So things could still turn out not so great. We'll have to wait and see. For right now, I'll do something like that. And we'll just have to wait and see what exactly falls where. But usually these levels so far that just give me sun at the beginning and no sunflowers are a lot more doable. So I'll get that there. And that sun, I will get this set up right here too. Awesome, so when more zombies show up, I probably just wanna get you know one snow pea per row, or, in, or per lane, and same thing with the cabbage pots. Whenever I get the opportunity. Because more zombies are definitely popping up now. So let's do that here, this here. Seems pretty good. and then I will get this one there. Got it. So, all that figured out. Huge wave of zombies is approaching. Oh no. How do I wanna do this now? I think that we'll just focus on cabbage bolts from here on out, because I'm sure that there'll be more pigeons popping up soon. So we got the snow piece slowing down the zombies. If I could just do this for the rest of it, what more is there really to do for this stage? Like that's just sort of the, the strategy available. There we go. We'll do one up there. And then we'll have basically every spot filled. So if that doesn't work, I don't know what well. Here come the pigeons. We we'll wanna make sure that we have enough sun to replace some walnuts here and there. Because that is definitely something that's gonna happen soon. Ooh, okay, that did defeat a lot of zombies. Okay, walnut replacement. Final way of approaching. So we just have to hope this holds out as we get more sun falling from the sky. And as soon as it, yep, there we go. Immediately replace it. I think we're fine, but you can never be too sure. Come on, come on. That top two lanes, those top two lanes, not looking so good anymore. I don't know if I actually need the walnut down here. I think I do. It's unfortunate to say, but I really think I do. Oh man. I think we'll be okay here. At the least, we might be able to buy enough time for another Grapes of Wrath. 
which one is gonna get chewed through first. This is actually all happening at once in a crazy way. I'll get that there. Don't know if I'll have a walnut in time for this one. I just barely do. But on the bottom, that's where I'm in a little bit more trouble. All right, well, I think this is about all I can do for a bit here, so I'll just sort of let it speed up and see what we can experience. Okay, so we're good here. Just one last pigeon zombie, and we made our way through. It's a miracle. Jeez, that was tough. And now the grapes show up. Whatever. <laughs> all right, there's that done. Um, we can continue. I, I'll go ahead and double our coins real quick. All right, we got some extra coins out of that one. Very nice. So, with that done, what else we got going on around here? Some footsteps leading outside. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there we go. Leading outside of the pool area. Investigate the footprints. Huh? Whoa. What do you make of these strange footprints? I've never seen anything like them. Hypothesis, Dr. Zomboss has created a new zombie mutation. Further investigation required. The tracks lead to in, into the woods. How are you feeling, Mo? Think you're up for clearing the Z-Fog ahead? All systems go. Let's find the source of these strange tracks and more parts for Crater Dave's Fog Vac invention. Onwards, friends. All right, so day four complete. It was quite the adventure, but as you can see, all of it's cleared out. Pretty cool. Lunchtime, you got a task reward. So if we've been putting all that, we get one jalapeno and 250 coins. Not bad. All right, so that was some pretty good stuff. If we wanna start day five, we'll definitely be doing that in the next episode. But yeah, look at our pool area. We got the trees, the, the nacho cheese fountain, lots of cool stuff going on here. So what could be waiting for us? Whoa, in the forest. It seems like a whole bunch of stuff. It just keeps going. Look at all the imps having a party over here. What is going on? We'll have to find out in the next episode of Plants vs. Zombies 3. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.